Hey everyone, I'm Chris from Geeky Medics. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create and share practice OSCE stations using our free OSCE station creator tool. I'll also demonstrate how you can organize your OSCE stations into circuits, making it easy to set up and run a mock OSCE. Okay, let's get started. Once you've logged in, the link to our OSCE station creator tool can be found in the sidebar. So here you can create your OSCE station. Firstly, there are the key details. Choose a category, for example, examination, history, or counseling, and enter a title and description for your station. Following this, there are three main components to creating a station. The student instructions, patient instructions, and examiner checklist. At the end of the station, you can also add some examiner questions and some useful links. To help you create your station, you can use a Geeky Medics checklist. Click the Geeky Medics template button and choose from one of our examiner checklists. For example, if I was creating a station based on taking a history from a patient with chest pain, I could choose the chest pain history template. This template would then be populated into my OSCE station. Once you have created an OSCE station, it will be visible in the My Stations area. This page will list all of the OSCE stations which you have created. So I'm just going to show you an example station now, which I created earlier. So here's a station on performing a respiratory examination. You can see there are links to go to the individual parts of the station, and there are also links to start a group practice mode, to match with another student, and to join the OSCE group chat. So if we take a look at the student instructions, this tells the student exactly what they need to do as part of the station. The patient instructions give some guidance to the person playing the role of the patient, so this may include examination findings or the details of a medical history. The examiner instructions contain the checklist for the person taking on the role of the examiner for the station. As items are completed, the examiner can tick them off on the checklist. Once the station is completed, it will provide some statistics on how well the student performed during the station. And there is also the ability to download the results as a PDF, to redo the station or to share the result. You can arrange your OSCE stations into an OSCE circuit. To do this, enter the station you wish to add to the OSCE circuit and choose the circuit button. Here, we can create a new OSCE circuit. And you can add the station to the circuit. You may wish to add several stations, in which case go back to the My Stations area and choose another station to add. Once you've created your OSCE circuit, it will be visible in the circuits area in the sidebar. Here we can see that we've added two OSCE stations to our circuit. Each of your circuits will have a unique URL, so you can easily share it with others. To do this, choose the Share button. This will copy the link to the OSCE circuit to your clipboard. Here is the OSCE station circuit I've just created. To practice this circuit in a small group, enter the first station. You can then set up the group practice mode. Choose the group practice button, and this will generate a pin which other members of the group can use to enter the station. Once other members of the group enter, you can assign them a different role. For example, to be the student, the examiner, or to play the part of the patient. If you enjoyed this video, check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 500 OSCE stations and put your OSCE skills to the test. You can practice with friends, create your own study group, or team up with another member of the Geeky Medics community with our OSCE Match feature. Sign up today to access our selection of free OSCE stations.